Lafayette is losing one of its two strip clubs after Philly's Gentlemen's Club sold its two buildings to the church next door. News 18's Cameron Harden spoke with both owners on how an unexpected friendship led to the business deal. It was just sort of a mutual thing. It wasn't uh, uh, they didn't push us, we didn't push them. It was just sort of a it, it just happened, so it, it, was, it was really nice that way. For nearly a year, Phillies and Lafayette Community Church have been neighbors. But after Phillies co-owner Ag Goble and lead pastor Jeff Michaels got to talking one day, they decided it would be mutually beneficial to have the church buy the two buildings owned by Goble. I'm happy with the fact that we can be part of their expansion because, you know, this is, I, I think the people that we've met from the church has had an influence on our community, and I think they'll continue to do so, especially with the youth and things like that. So we respect your position. Michaels couldn't be happier. Just about as good as it could possibly have been. The building here has worked out better for us than I thought it was going to. The relationship with our neighbors has worked out better than I thought it would. Now the church is focusing on the next step in the process. We're really excited about the possibilities of using those two buildings to be a blessing to the people in the neighborhoods nearby. Um, you know, we've got all kinds of ideas. We're in the dreaming phase right now. Now, the once lively strip club is preparing to hold an auction on all their, well, stuff. While Goble is selling the buildings and closing the strip club, they are revamping the fantasy gift shop into an adult bookstore and moving to a new location. It's time for me to sort of slow down a little bit and, and uh, we'll just have the one business rather than, than, the, than the two. Our adult bookstore is definitely gonna be larger uh, more modern. I mean, it's uh, we're really excited about that. Michael says other churches could help with the new buildings, and he really wants it to be focused on the community. We're not going to try to figure out who someone is before we decide if we're going to bless them. We want to bless them no matter who they are, and that's our calling. That's what we're all about, and we hope that we can continue to do that, especially with the new resources of having some additional space. Reporting in Lafayette, Cameron Harden, News 18. And Phillies will hold its auction on site on January 28th at 10 a.m.